hey guys it's technical issues and in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you that how to remove a BIOS password from any laptop uh, actually I also suffered from forgotten BIOS password and after a uh, few practicals I found a working way using which you can uh, remove any bias password so let's getting started it's technical issue and you should subscribe to our channel uh, to stay updated with many technical issues uh, so let's getting started so here I have uh, set up the uh, I have a forgotten uh, a bias password just like I don't know this and I am entering this wrong password and it shows system will halt press any key okay I'm pressing any key there is nothing out there and so I have to shut it down again okay uh, I shut it down and uh, so I have forgotten my bias password so how I can remove that so I am turning it on again uh, okay uh, there is no password on booting so I can boot into my windows just like your uh, seeing there is no password on booting so I can boot into my Windows 8 if Windows 8 is installed uh, so uh, okay I'm logging in into my laptop uh, so this video will be continued I'm pausing this from my camera so I will record the next steps with my screen recorder <laughs> So uh, you can see now that I am logged into my PC. Uh, here you can see that it's running uh, Windows 8. Uh, so let's getting started now. I'm using my uh, screen recorder. Uh, so first of all, we need two softwares: uh, one BIOS firmware and another one is a Seven Zip extractor. So first of all, go to your browser. Uh, like I'm using Google Chrome out here so here is a uh, Google Chrome uh, now I'm googling 7-zip uh, okay 7-zip uh, download this is the 7-zip download website 7-zip.org uh, go to there here you can uh, download the latest version of .exe that's uh, for Windows 32 bit and for 64 bit you can download this one so I have already downloaded this and installed this in my system so I don't download and install it again uh, now second one is BIOS firmware so uh, you can get uh, BIOS firmware from your uh, official website like I'm using Acer so I'm gonna type Acer drivers official okay so here is the uh, official website of Acer I'm opening this so here I can search uh, the model number by SNID or model number uh, product model number uh, I have already downloaded this uh, from this website or you can if you're other uh, user like HP uh, drivers download official uh, so you can also download uh, softwares and drivers from any manufacturer easily uh, I have already downloaded this so there is no need to me just like I have installed 7-zip and downloaded the latest firmware this is the BIOS for Acer that was an 1.10 so I am gonna right click here uh, 7-zip extract files okay and this is now extracting all the files here now open this and uh, it's read me uh, windows now this is the main function uh, 7-zip will perform here this is a exe file and we need to extract this executive file by right clicking and 7-zip and extract files okay now this will extract 
the exe here uh, now open up the folder and here you can see platform the configuration settings uh, this name platform will be uh, uh, maybe some other name but uh, it's platform named its configuration settings uh, find out the configuration settings like it is type uh, written here configuration settings and double click to open this and find a section called force flash okay i'm finding this okay here i got a force flash section and you can see a uh, password is set to zero you know computer stands zero and one language so it's a big uh, topic about and i don't want to share this with you because it's very time consuming that why it is written zero and etc etc if this is not written in your configuration file you can just type uh, on your own uh, in the force flash section and set its value to one okay it's default by uh, zero but i'm setting it to one okay now cut this down save this file save so that's all and now you have to double tap here and your uh, pc will restart so i'm pausing this video from my uh, screen recorder and continue with my cameras because my laptop is gonna shut down so now i have uh, set it up the configuration file uh, and my laptop is gonna start so i started recording it with my camera so uh, now you have to just launch the application uh, of your uh, bios firmware click yes wait a little bit so now uh, inside flash this uh, version of bias is my inside flash now it's it's losing and erasing and writing all the things uh, related to my bios so wait a little bit okay now my laptop is shutting down automatically it's automatically processed uh, wait till it get shut down so it's completely shut down now and I'm turning it on okay now it's turning on and I'm pressing F2 key uh, to enter into the BIOS now it's taking uh, okay it's taking time please wait here hell there's no need for the password to enter into BIOS password and you can also go to security tab to enter a new password and that's a great great thing that I shared with you uh, to uh, remove the bias password and please subscribe to my channel to stay updated and to solve the technical issues thanks technical issue video please subscribe